Once again, I forgot to unmute myself. Classic Kyle move, if I refer to myself in the third person. Welcome to Kyle Emblem, part eight. Uh, once again, I've already said it twice. Um, you are about to witness something I am probably going to immediately regret doing, but I'm going to be trying to beat the level I beat last time, but I lost to Tania. She died, and I was like, screw it, I don't care. I'm gonna play without her. Then I felt bad after I calmed down. I was I was all worked up. So we're gonna be we're gonna be beating this level without anyone dying. And I think I'm I've already started. So I think I'm doing a pretty good job so far. Um, and then we're gonna get through some more levels. You know, we're I I've been having I haven't been feeling super well the past like two weeks, which is maybe why like the streams weren't super fun because I was just feeling like crap while I was playing. Feeling a lot better today uh, than I was two weeks ago and even one week ago. So hopefully. Uh, this will be a little bit more uh, entertaining for you guys, but let's jump into it right now. Alright, 
So, if you remember, actually, I'm gonna bump up this, pump up this music just a little bit. This should be a little bit better for you guys. Maybe a little bit louder. It's actually very loud for me, but I like it loud. All right, so if you remember, we're playing this kind of, um, it's like really extremely fog of war, like kind of map where it's super dark, but uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna get through it. I think I'm doing a pretty good job already. I took care of the guys down here. I'm gonna try and save these two houses and get some, get some items, but yeah, let's get into it. So we've got, um, we're doing pretty dang good, if I do say so myself right now. No one has died. They've come close, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. So, we're going to position some of our people a little bit better, so that our healers aren't exposed. Tania's gonna come over here and not die, and then she's gonna visit this house, and I don't think they give her anything. Now oh, they give her a surf robe. All right, so she can increase her HP with that. Anyone can increase their HP by seven, so I probably want to give it to someone who I use a lot but doesn't have great HP. Gaytree would be, actually, Oscar would probably be the best person. We might we might give it to Oscar. We might give it to Ike, even though he's pretty he's pretty kitted out right now. Eh, we'll see. I, Ike Ike is gonna level up and be incredibly strong no matter what, so I'm not too worried about him. Let's do Oscar. Yeah, we'll do we'll do Oscar. All right. Let's see what the enemy does. Right, so this is the boss of the map, but it doesn't matter if we kill him right now because you have to wipe the entire map. You have to route them. There we go. That's why Ike is the best. He's a one-shot killer. Or one-swing killer, I guess. Lucky 13. Yeah, he's just so amazingly strong right now and apparently really good at dodging too he hasn't gotten hit once also i hope you guys like my shirt it's uh i'm not doing a stream on halloween but it is you know a, a halloween-esque shirt so i hope you appreciate it it's very nice i just got it from graveyard goods Whew, man reese is super dodgy today thank goodness all right so that's what I was worried about, is these guys come back, and there's like a bunch of them too. There's like a bunch of people that come from where you start. It's really annoying. Um, I'm actually gonna direct... We're gonna let them roam. I've really gotta heal her. So they're both maxed out. Yeah, 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 yeah. these should be fine. All right, so let's bring let's bring Gaytree down here. See if he can do some defense, defensive offense. Yeah, he can take he can take a bunch of hits normally. Not always. Sometimes he's really uh kind of like a damage just sort of rolls into him really really quickly. But we'll see. That's what I like. I like my characters using crits. What I don't like is my healer being completely and utterly exposed. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Alright, so these guys should transform and go after this guy. I'm not too worried about them, but just in case, I think I'm gonna... Well, actually, you know what? Soren can handle this. Let's do, see what Soren got. Yep, he's got it. He's good. And he leveled up. Look at this. This is immensely more fun and less stressful uh, than it was last week. I was really like feeling like crap last week. It was it was not good. I'm feeling much better this week. Unhinged Moose. Good evening. How are you? You having a good time? You like Fire Emblem? Also, have I have we talked before? You seem oddly familiar. I can't remember. I'm really bad at like streaming, apparently, so I don't remember anyone who talks. But thanks for jumping in. Oh, okay. That's I. Mm, I gotta. 
I didn't I didn't expect the Laguz characters to split up like that. But I guess I can just tell them what to do now. Oh man, Ike is just dodging and dodging. You don't think we have, but you do love FE. That's all I care about, you know? As long as you love Fire Emblem, that's all that matters. Do you have like a favorite that you play or do you just play all of them? And what's up? I grew up with the, the GameCube console, so yeah. Especially this one, especially this one. It's great. These two, really, Path of Radiance and uh, Radiant Dawn are, are awesome in my book. Although replaying, this has been like a couple years since I played this game. It's way harder, like way harder than I remember. Maybe I did something to difficulty by accident, but man, is it like just absolutely punishing sometimes. Good old Soren. I always try to level up Soren like as quick as possible. He's one of my favorites. Um, let's try to get some experience for Rolf too. Of course, he only shoots once, so it's not going to be that good. The Tellius games are some of the best. See, I haven't played. <laughs> I'm really ashamed to say this. I'm a big fan of Fire Emblem. I've played a bunch of the older ones. I grew up specifically playing. Um, the, the original Fire Emblem on, on Game Boy Advance, um, the American release at least, and uh, I played Advanced Wars, um, which is developed by the same company, and I played uh, the Tellius games and a bunch of other a bunch of other releases. I, Shadow Dragon I played a couple years ago, uh, which I'm really excited for on the Switch, um, but I've never played anything past these, anything anything past the Tellius games. So all of like the 3DS games and stuff like that. Never played them. I really want to, though. I hear they're, like, not as punishing, or, or they there are, like, aspects to them that aren't as crazy difficult as uh, some of the more traditional Fire Emblem stuff. But I don't know. I, I've never played them myself, so I'm, I really can't say. Because you don't have a 3DS, yeah. Me neither. I, I used to have a DS way back in the day, like... Like, a year after it launched, maybe, in, in what, 2005 or 2006 or something like that? Um, but I never I never got a 3DS. I didn't really see the point. It was cool, though. Yeah, Three Houses is, um... Is that on Switch? I th For some reason, I thought it was only on handheld, but it I guess it makes sense if it's on Switch. Three Houses is definitely easier, yeah. That's sort of what I heard. But there's also, like... There's, there's way more, um, they focus on, like, the relationships and stuff between the characters more. Like, you can marry and have kids and stuff like that, which is, you know, cool. You can't really do that in this one. You just have the support system. But fun nonetheless. Let's try and get rid of some of these mages up here. There we go. Did you uh, play these when they like first released on uh, GameCube and Wii, or were you like, did you find them years after or something? I was just interested to hear like people's history with the series. Ike finally got hit. Of course, it was immediately killed the other guy. You can get at least four playthroughs in 3H and have four different swords. Oh, wow. That's crazy. I didn't realize it was that, like, branching. That's awesome. So close. Just have Shin and finish him off. Four, four different stories. Like, how different are we talking? Are we talking like, oh, um, minor differences with like character interaction, or is it like full, full blown like 
this is a completely different section that you, you wouldn't see otherwise. Or like, uh, like, I don't know, I'm, I'm interested. I know that's probably hard to answer without doing like spoilers and stuff. But. I always forget about mist. Nice. Archer versus Archer here. I'm just gonna bring Shin in. Nah. Yeah, why not? He'll be uh, Ike's second. Go. Another level up. Let's level up twice. Strength and defense is all I really care about. And skill, I guess. But... Alright, let's go here. I couldn't remember if there are people up here or not. As for starting to play the Tullius games, Path of Radiance was actually my introduction to first or Fire Emblem. Bought a GameCube for like 50 bucks that came with it. Dude, unopened PR. If it was still unopened, that would be worth like $500 now. Or like, maybe not that much, but like $250, $300. They go for that on eBay. I used to have a physical copy and I sold it back when I thought it was worth a lot, which was like 120 bucks or 100, 150 bucks, something like that. I sold it on eBay when I was in college and I seriously regret doing that because I would love to have the physical copy now. Dude, hold on to that thing. Don't sell it. That's like a collector's item at this point. If I ever get, like, enough money, I think I'll actually buy it back. Because I... I, I <laughs> hold on. Uh, it's here somewhere. Give me one second. I actually have, amazingly, the... Uh, Fire Emblem, like, walkthrough for Path of Radiance, which I think is pretty cool. I mean, I know you can probably get this for, like, 50 cents or something, but I kept it from when I had the original and just, just held on to it, because I like it so much. And there's, like, awesome artwork in it and stuff, like, um, let me see, even just at the beginning, I mean, got, like, the Black Knight, sorry, it's a little out of focus and stuff. And then the uh, the breakdowns for some of the maps, like, uh, I don't know if you remember in Path of Radiance, there's that, it's like sort of in the middle where you have the ships, and it gives you like the grid of, uh, of where everything is and, and uh, the different enemy types that come in and the different items that you can find. It was awesome. It was super helpful, obviously. I mean, it's basically like a, here's how to win, <laughs> but it was really cool to have. And there's, you know, that's how I found out about um, Stefan in the first game, where you're in the Grudo Desert or whatever, and it's, or not the Grudo Desert, the, uh, nar it's something with an N desert, and uh, you can find him by going, like, all the way up into the corner, and you have to have um, either Lethe or Mordecai, like, step on a specific square, and he appears, and he's, like, super powerful. I never, ever would have known that without that guide, so. A lot of, lot of good memories from, from uh, this series, and in, in particular. Let's bring Ike over here. Actually, I'm gonna heal him up. Oh no, <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't have a vulnery. <laughs> Neither does Shinnin. Oh man, I'm so ill prepared for this. Um, all right, let's do Titania real quick. Good. Awesome. And we can bring Gaytree up. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna bring Boyd up. You know, he's super weak against any attack. He, I don't know your experience with the games. I leveled up Boyd as high as he could go in Path of Radiance to, like, you know, up upgraded him to Warrior or whatever and got to him to level 20. He had, like, 20-some defense, and he always, always got hit. Like, any sort of attack, it was just immediately he would, he would get hit. 
And it made him really inconsistent because he was super strong, but he was just so weak when it came to when it came to his defense and actually dodging um, stuff like that. So I don't know. I kind of I'm leery of using him all the time, but it is what it is. I'm gonna bring him down here. But that's cool, man. You uh, you still have your path of radiance. Uh, sorry, I'm immediately get distracted by what I'm saying. Your path of radiance stuff. Hold on to that strategy guy. Just look at Eve. <laughs> what? Dude, there's no way. There's no way the strategy guide is worth $130. I mean, it's not in like it's not in bad shape. I mean, there's some like you know, um, wrinkles on the edges and stuff, but, you know, it's not missing any pages, it's, the, the inside is really, I don't know, that's crazy, I never, ever would have thought to look up the strategy guide on eBay, let alone the, the, that it, because it was worth anything, that's crazy, thanks for letting me know that, I feel like, I have, like, a collector's item now, I think Boyd has my vulnerabilities, yeah, it's converted it to Canadian, but it's a hundred. Dude, that's still. I think I got it for like ten, fifteen dollars. That I. I don't even remember where I got it. I might have gotten it from a GameStop. I can't remember. But yeah, it's it's. Really, uh, that's crazy. That's just like insane to me. Got a. I know there's people up here. Yes, there they are. Nice. That was the last guy. Great. All right. Great. Finally beat this level. I. <laughs> I, if you were here, like, the last two uh, streams, I was really not feeling great. I was feeling kind of sick, and I was just doing absolutely, like, terribly on this level last time. So uh, I, I won, but Titania died, and I felt bad about continuing on, so I, I decided to roll it back and finish it this, uh, this stream. can finally get my shop, uh, and armory, and, uh, weapon creation stuff back. Alright, see, here's here's the save I didn't want to do. My experience with Void is a love-hate relationship. Nine times out of ten, he turns out absolutely terrible, but the one time... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. He's, like, he's super powerful when he lands his hits, but he's so effective. incredibly and inconsistent, and just, like... Benyard. Can he can have, like, the I don't know, in this game, like, 60, and 70, 80 health or something region. like that. And he gets hit With once, and it, like, immediately takes, like, half. Tell and it was the same like way in Path of Radiance, so. At the feet of the Lagoos Alliance. Inspired by their success, gotta listen to the, narrator the Alliance right now. takes advantage of this momentum to strike toward the very heart of the Benyon Empire. Dukes Gados and Celiora are horrified by the speed of the Lagoos' advance. Banding together with the landowning nobles of the northern territories, they mass their armies in Celiora to oppose the Gallian assault. Using the Riban River, a tributary of the mighty Miscale, as a defensive front, the Benyan forces make their camps along its western bank in the Sestor. So I was really, um, I was really bad in Path of Radiance. I liked Mia, but I never used her enough because I just focused on like. Soren and um, um, Rolf. I liked Rolf. Um, I never, ever use Neff. <laughs> like, never. <laughs> I don't know why. I just don't like her, her, uh, her character that much. But if you like her, I'll try and use her. I think she's still. A couple people have died. Normally, I do playthroughs where I don't want anyone to die, which is what I did. Um, for Path of Radiance, but uh, 
I think Neff is still here. I think maybe Brom died. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, maybe maybe I'll try and level her up and uh, use her a little bit. Three man, the last chapter with that. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize. Oh, in, in Path of Radius. I was going to say, it was like, you went up against God with Neff. That's cool, though. Yeah, it was, um, for me, it was last game. Ike, obviously. Uh, Oscar was really, really solid. Um, Titania, like, levels off. Like, like once she hits, like, level 12 or something, um, or, or 15 or whatever it is, she just, like, doesn't get any better very much, but... The only reason I needed Ike was because the two other couldn't hurt Ash. Yeah, exactly. He's got the only weapon that can actually hurt her. Or, um, um, what's his name? Nazil? Or Naz Nasir, Nasir? The, uh, dragon. He's good to have, too. Or Tabarn can hurt him. Tabarn can hurt him? I can't remember. <laughs> if you ever, um, I play this on an, uh, the, the emulator with, the Dolphin emulator with the 360 controller. It's a, you know, a, a Wii game on a PC with a 360 controller. It's great. Um, she found out S-rank weapons. Can hurt Ashnar if the unit has enough strength. Yeah. I, um, I, I played through Path of Radiance. Like, I've beaten that game, like, probably 15 times or something like that. And, uh, <laughs> I, I played through it this last time on the emulator. And I decided I'd start to use cheats. It, like like I'd save like a couple levels that I thought would be fun to do so after I beat it again fully I went back and played those levels and turned on cheats and like you can because I think they're built into the um, the emulator or I downloaded them or something but it was it was very interesting what you can do with the characters and the stats you can like make Ike just like a god essentially it's, it's great Yeah, I forget. In this game, towards the end game, doesn't the doesn't the prophet? No, no, no. Doesn't Yune or or the whoever the the dark god is that's with you? Doesn't she like bless everyone's weapons to be like Ike's, where it's like they can hurt everyone can hurt you know all the all the other blessed enemies or something like that? I'm pretty sure that happens, and it makes her like really tired and she can't help for a little bit. Something like that. Again, it's been like five, six years since I played this game, so. Just using up all my XP. I like Gaichi. He's, he's suave and powerful. I think it's a blessed weapon within the last few chapters, yeah. You can only take, like... Is it, like, a ridiculously small number of people that get to... It's, like, 10, 12 people or something? Maybe it's more than that. I just remember it being really hard. 16 units, yeah. do me, eh? Yeah. Six of them were chosen. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, well, <laughs> I can't, you know, you're not going to give me full customization. Oh, Ileana. I always wanted to level her up, like a lot, but I always just went with Soren. And a me.
Ike just looks so, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like, obviously not that big, but, like, his... <laughs> I don't know, his expression. Uh, I've been playing Randomizer a lot of this recently. She's actually a better me. Oh, okay. Interesting. I was I just like Soren's character, even though he's like kind of racist, um, which, you know, we just we look past that because he's he's had a hard life. Um, but yeah, Ileana is like she's she's like so funny to me. I don't know. She's like this frail little girl who can like absolutely murder you with lightning. Stay, stay beautiful. <laughs> Wait, I forget what is the silver card doing. Special card reduces all items have earned, but does not earn any training points. Training points, as in like the items that you buy with it don't. I guess that kind of makes sense. Let's look at this shop real quick. We got. Yeah, I guess I can stick with that. Give it to. Who should I give this to? Yeah, she's still here. And Brahm is still here. I guess I did better than I thought. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Connor. Um. I'll look in your... I don't know if it shows up for you, but your name comes up orange. It's good stuff. Yeah, I like this shirt a lot. Um, horror is fantastic. I need someone who's stronger than Mia. To... Can't she do... No, she can't. I'm, like, forgetting so much stuff. Right, I need to get some vulnerabilities for people, because I'm, I'm severely under... Uh... Yes. She needs one. He needs one. Rolf is good. This is good. Oscar's good. Shinna needs one. Gaytree's good. Mia definitely needs one. It's a similar character in Three Houses where once she's leveled up, she can do enemies for like. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Yeah, everyone's, everyone's good. I just need uh, Titania to give this to someone. I mean, I guess... I need to give Ike, like, an actual sword. You do Steel Blade. I have, like, no money now, so I gotta sell some stuff. Uh, there you are. There we go. I was like, where's the sell items thing? Everything exaggerated in that game. Kind of figured. I, I really don't care to use that. I'd rather just use the money that it can give me. Alright. Um, I'm gonna give Great Lance to Titania. Could she really not use that? Man, I'm like. Really shocked at how I thought she could use both and then can't tell away da, da, da. I gotta buy some magic L Thunder for Soren so that he can be even more effective for me some L fire also for Soren, because I just 
Can't get enough. Um, probably should get a bow for somebody. I think I can get this, right? Boyd, no, he's he's good. He's fine. He doesn't need that. I think we're good. Maybe maybe a bow for Briss or Shinnan. Yeah, he's only got an iron bow. What the heck? Um. Yeah, I don't know why they give him such <laughs> crappy. Uh, <laughs> he's got like really really bad items, and then he has a killer bow, of course. So it's like it doesn't makes sense why he would have that. He's like one of the best snipers in the entire game. Alright, we'll take the crossbow. Let me save real quick, and then we will get started on this next mission. If built right, mages can hit from six tiles away. I somehow missed that for some reason. Definitely recommend trying out the randomizer for this if you're into that sort of thing. Yeah, definitely. What is, um, where can I find it? Can you, uh, DM me on or whis whisper to me on Twitch, I think? Send me the uh, link if it lets you. If not, I can give you my Discord. You can just give to that if you have Discord. Hey, we got some other viewers. How you doing, guys? Uh, who we got? Who we got? We got everyone. I'm just going to save again real quick. Just Google FE10 Rando. It's the only one there. Okay. I shall do that. I'm actually going to do it on my phone right now so I don't remember. FE... Rando. It's by Lord Mewtwo. Oh no. Getting a bunch of... Uh... Getting some camera stuff? I had... There's a Nikon FE10. I'll find it. He has a Discord for tuning for any updates. That's cool. Oh, we got so many guys. Alright. Who's up first? Are there any secondary generals in this one? Istavan. Trying to see if there's anyone else other than... Nope, I think it's just him. All right, let's just go for it. I'm pretty sure last time I used the trees as cover. Maybe I should just let people come to me. Nah, where's the fun in that? Just have I charge ahead. Along with, uh, we'll put Har in there because he's. Uh, maybe not with the. Eh. Why not? We'll strike first. Hard to, to, a, to a lesser extent than Boyd, but he does get hit a lot. Like, way more than you would think. Bring Oscar over here. Great. Currently doing a seed with randomized recruitment order and ended up with two herons. Yawn Brigade. Part one. Yeah, because you could just re uh, use the glader or whatever on everyone. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> That's interesting. So it just it just gives you random characters. At, at, you know, points where they wouldn't actually show up normally. That's super interesting. Okay. I'll try to give uh, Neff some, some XP this time. You can select that option, otherwise normal order. Interesting. Interesting. There's a fly in my room now. Of course. Da -da 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 -da. 
Use your shiny new axe. Everyone's getting hit. Be more Dexy and dodge stuff. I like never worry about Shin and getting hit. He's so good at dodging. <laughs> Totally unnecessary for you to do a crit, but okay. Even though I know it's not technically a crit. Oof. It happened that my Makaya was a Heron, so the solo chapter with her and BK use BK a lot. That chapter is is I felt really dumb when I finally figured out where the boss was. He's just like over to the right in the corner. Completely went around the entire map like super carefully and that's such an interesting um, level. Uh, who do I want to use? I guess I'll use Oscar. Of course. Doesn't spawn until like turn 12 or something? Oh, okay. Well, even so, where he spawns, I felt really stupid. I guess that kind of makes sense though, because you would have seen him prior to that, right? Good. These guys have. They just have axes. Oh, he's got a. Okay. Um. Got a javelin. No, he's gonna steal it. She's so weak. I really gotta level her up. Oh my gosh. Like really hurt people. I was not a, for some reason I was not expecting that to be uh, that effective. I don't really don't want Rolf to get hit. This is so weak. Everyone's so weak in this game. If you let the hidden items, if you, it lets you get the hidden items on that chapter and give some XP. Okay. Cool. Gosh, dang it. I'm like, Ike is not doing good. I think his bio rhythm's down or something. I'm also not playing this smart. I'm just sort of throwing people where they might go. That's not good. Do a crit, come on. Never does a crit. He's got a killer axe, he never does a crit. At least he got at least he dodged and killed the guy. That like never happens. Nice, good stuff. Everyone is just like terrible with defense right now. I don't know why. That. Oh, come on. Couldn't hit him one more time. Well, 
Mm, that's not a good matchup, is it? What time is back on the Yeah, I may still be on. Enjoy your dinner, whatever it is that you're having. I hope it's scrumptious and delicious. How fair is the war? It's uh, it's going good. The I'm feeling much better than I was the past two weeks, so uh, <laughs> I'm I'm actually doing better I think because I'm feeling better, which is always good. Um, I so I beat last week's mission last week, but Titania died in the process, and I was gonna continue on without her, and then I felt bad when I started the game up this week, so I went back beat that mission again without losing anybody, which was really good. Uh, and now we're on to the next level, which is a big, open, sort of warring uh, factions level. Look how big this map is. It's huge. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we just got through the first wave of people, so I'm feeling feeling pretty good. How are you? You play anything tonight? Or just just chilling, chilling in the streams? Yeah, it do be like that sometimes. It definitely do. That's a little bit missing. Playing some random stuff, watch people's streams. Sounds like a good night to me. Dude, I had a lot of fun last night. It was like, genuinely like, I had a good time. I'm, and I'm really enjoying uh, ODS too. Star Wars Bounty. It's not on PC. What did I have it on? I think I had it on PlayStation 3. I'm pretty sure it's on the PlayStation store. store. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm like 90% sure that it's on PlayStation. I know, ODST is... It's just so smooth. Like, it's, it's so fun. It's something else, yeah. I can't remember. I could have sworn... I mean, I'm sure you could get, like, an, a ROM or something played on an emulator like I'm doing right now. Yeah. Send him down here. Why not? That's so funny, because I could have sworn that it was also on PC. Like, I thought, like, Steam added it a while ago. I remember doing that mission where you you steal the Slave 1. Of, or it's like a prototype. It's like one of, like, six prototypes. You have to blow up all the other ones and then escape with it. angle right boom crit I mean I guess it would be easier to bring everyone 
Eh, yeah, whatever. I don't. I really don't care about them. Check it out on PS4. Remember the the one mission in there was like you know like an alien planet. I guess they're all alien planets in Star Wars, but it was like there was like a bunch of so sort of, you're going through like a bunch of um, like rocky mountain valleys. And there's snipers everywhere in there. I just remember being really annoying. Like, really annoying. Come on, Gatry. There we go. Oof. Contro yeah, they, they are definitely jank. Very much so. But that's why we love it, you know? Because it's not perfect. I totally missed Unhinged Moose gave us a follow. Thank you, Unhinged Moose. I know you're not here. You're eating dinner, but thank you. I'll thank you again when you when you get back. So I didn't pay attention to what I just did at all. <laughs> completely, completely just automatically did that. They'll be fine. Great. How's the sound, Jimmy? Does it like sound pretty even to you? I think it should be pretty even. stinking bolting attack. I hate that thing. It never hits, though. Like, it's, you're able to dodge it fairly easily, if I remember. Oh, crap. Good lord. scary when it does it there. Oh yeah, it's like <laughs> very much not fun to deal with when it does it. Man, Void is ugh, pisses me off so much. He's so inconsistent. Oh, 
I gotta send Gaitry up here too. Oh, it's so close. Well, that's not good. I don't want Mist to get hit. There's nothing I can really do about it now. Dang it. That's really not good. She cannot die. Love that cancer. <laughs> I'm just going to do a cross over here, I guess. Oh, I don't know. This might end badly. Who knows? Sort of part for the course for me at this point. Hmm. Yep. Whew. Thank goodness, Mist is actually pretty dodgy. Can you do it two in a row? Yes, you can. Awesome. Good job, Mist. Super proud of you. Ah, oh, he's so close to leveling up. He'll level up here. Ugh. Again, he just... I don't... I don't... He's a level 10 warrior. He should be hitting twice. It doesn't make any sense to me. Oh my gosh, three times in a row? Missed. You're, like, amazing. He's so close to killing these guys, oh my goodness. Boyd's probably gonna die. I have a feeling he's gonna die. Uh, yep, I know. Ooh, you inconsistent jerk. I really don't want to restart. I'm trying to, like, weigh my options here. Should I restart or not? You're literally just talking about how, like, inconsistent Boyd was. And now, now he's gone. Forever. I also didn't play this well. I shouldn't have split up my party is really what it comes down to. Fine. I'll restart. I'll play it a little bit differently. All right, come on. Let me let me go. Ooh, it's a little funky. Okay, there we go. Open, Radiant Dawn. Alright, we'll we'll pretend that, that didn't happen. It was just a little a little teaser. like a plane flying over my Ooh, very loud all right let's try that again and not split up the party we're all gonna go up and to the right I'm gonna play this play this a little bit differently than I played it last time I forgot. Right. 
let's go. Let's see what these guys do. And I guess we're just leaving Soren where he was. Because it was convenient. Alright. Par is really powerful. He just doesn't dodge, like, ever. I don't get it. So close. Come on, hit him again! I don't understand why these guys just do not, like, hit twice. I don't know if it's, like, a level cap kind of thing where you have to, you have to hit a certain marker, or if it's a skill thing. You would think that the Grell mercenaries, of all people, would hit twice in one round. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. Just saying what we're all thinking. See? Look at that. He hits twice, dodges. Just do that every time. Every single time. And then it'll be fine. <clears throat> Gotta say, I do love the music in this game. It is fantastic. It's very, like, I don't know. I feel like all Fire Emblem games have had really good music. And maybe that's due to um, the original composer coming up with such a good theme. Some Japanese woman. I can't remember her name. If anyone in the chat can look it up, let me know what her name is so that I can actually give her credit for her fantastic music. Come on, go over. Bike. Once again, hard. Taking hits. Not dealing out enough damage. Shinnan's always good at dodging, though. That's, that's one of the good things. Hit him twice. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Actually, make yourself effective. Har has gotten hit literally every time someone is swung out. There, he goes twice that time, and then he misses. Necessarily who I wanted to do to attack, but okay. There we go. So we're starting to mow down people now. Oh my gosh, boy, just do your freaking job and actually hit people. See what happens. There we go. Yes, Dad, I'm winning. For now. Well, it's actually hard to say that until you've won one. That's why he's attacking with a freaking javelin. What an idiot. Me, not Har. He's just doing what I tell him.
after getting Ike's over here. Should be able to dodge this. Yeah. Good old Shannon. So Dexy. Nice, nice, nice. Finally, he does a crit on a guy who can't attack back. That makes sense. Also, uh, Jimmy or Connor, if you're watching, can you try out some of the stickers? I play, I play better when there's stickers. It's a fact. Or whoever's watching, really. It could be anyone. Apparently, we've got two people watching. I don't know who you are. All right. We're doing good. We've got... Our group is sticking together. We're going to get through this. It's going to be okay. Converse. Build your relationship. <gasps> oh my gosh. What did they hit her with? Wow. Holy crap, she lost so much health. You have no idea how this works. Blue guys are good guys. Red guys are bad guys. You can move the good guys certain uh, lengths of spaces and then the orange is where they can fire if a bad guy is close enough you can attack them and there's archers there's horseback people there's uh, knights flying people there's uh, heroes and it's like a strategy game but also an RPG um, and then uh, top left hand corner it gives you like you have to defeat the boss, right? So the boss is this guy with this little blinking uh, symbol down near his character thing. It's good stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah, she, like, whatever. That guy was wielding, absolutely wrecked her. That's crazy. Never have the patience for this game. Oh, believe me. Um, I had to make it as fast as possible for me to be able to pallet it. Because normally, I'll show you what happens normally. Uh, oh, okay. So, next round, watch, watch what happens every single time someone attacks. It's fun for me because I like the, the characters in the world and stuff like that. And it's also like a little bit of strategy. And actually, I shouldn't say a little bit because it gets freaking hard sometimes. Um, Co Coltair 114. I think our night bot is a little uh, vicious when it comes to posting links. If you were trying to post something that um, uh, it didn't. Uh, I think it's just, it doesn't let um, links be posted in the chat. If you want to, you can uh, whisper it to me if you if you need to. But yeah, Connor, this happens every single time someone attacks. So I actually just had to turn off because it's, it's, it's so slow. Like, it takes so much time. So I just, I turn it off. And it's way faster.
Alright, alright, we're doing good. But yeah, if you're not if you're not into it, uh, Connor, it's definitely it's a little slow. But I I like it. See like he did a critical, so it was like a super attack. But it doesn't happen very often. This is his version of a critical, which means it just attacks like five times. Or three times, or whatever it is. Yeah, but there's like magic users and all sorts of fun stuff. I think it's pretty fast. I mean, when you're when you're really like rushing through stuff, you can uh, find your find your uh, focus, you know, being very spot on, and you can just sort of fly through your return if you want to. This is just rough because it gives you so many people to manage at once. Normally, I think you have less people than this. Uh, I'm just trying to keep everyone together in a group. As we go and conquer the kingdom. Good. Also, I really like the music. Good music. She finally killed someone by attacking twice. It took her forever, but she finally did it. Har is still taking hits. He just can't dodge to save his life. Literally. It would save his life, but he won't do it. People just going after Titania, man. They just really want her dead. And she's just mowing them down. Build up that XP. She she could die. <laughs> like, she could definitely die this round. Which is exactly the same problem I had last time. Well, at least she leveled up. Okay, so she's not gonna die, but she came pretty close. Let's get Ike in here. Kill some peeps. Ooh. I took one damage. Oh no. I'm so scared. Can still dodge. There we go. Good stuff. This is like the part of the game where your your team is finally starting to really become effective. Dodge. Crit. Good job. Exactly what I wanted you to do. And he leveled up. Good stuff. Shinner is so good. He's going to be much less of a jerk in this game. Yeah, but we'll see. Uh, I'll put Void up here. Soren over here. And I'm going to heal Titania. Bringing up the rear. These are just the people that I like never use. Oh, man, I can almost hit them. Okay, let's go. So, um, you have like your Connor if you're still watching. You have your your base like stats for the characters like their attack their defense their skill um, their resistance to like magic and stuff 
and that can be augmented by like items or where they're standing on the on the map. So like if you look in the top left hand corner, it says plane, and it says there's zero zero zero, which means there's no added benefits to standing with in there. But if you're standing in a thicket, you get a little bit of um, I think that's movement movement uh, bonus or something, or or decrease in something like that. And sometimes if you're standing in um, trying to find one. I think there's not any on this map. There's there's some grass you can stand in, or like tall grass that gives you a, a boost in defense. So it's um you know it's it's very uh, you have to be aware of where you are in the map. And then you know you can use that to your advantage. Let's get rid of this guy because he's just pissing me off. Good job. Well, this is a, a much better strategy than what I was doing. Which is not a good strategy. Slowly moving everybody, unit by unit. I really wish you could, like, select everyone as a whole and just move them automatically. I think that'd be pretty cool. But no, that's not the Fire Emblem way. Yeah, we got a couple other viewers here. Hello, how are you doing? I love you. Thank you for watching this stream. Feel free to use stickers and... I think we have stickers, right? Maybe we don't have stickers. Let me check. I'm gonna be real upset if we don't, because we need to... Uh... I want some stickers. I don't think we do. That's so sad. Well, if you give us a follow, um, should be a fun little thing that comes up on the, uh, on the screen. So if you're not already following us, Give us a follow. I really appreciate it. Or subscribe if you're feeling particularly generous. I'll take whatever you can get. Or, I'll take whatever you can give. It's the more appropriate way to say that. Good. He's doing good now. We got some people coming up behind us, but I think we'll be okay. They're not really close, but they will be by the next turn. Um, yeah. Eh. I'll put Brom here and Ileana here, and then we'll put Titania over here. Soren. I don't. Yeah, I guess I do need Soren. Let's bring. Oh, you know, I'll put I'll put Boyd back here. And that'll be fine. From Har. Soren. I'll leave Mia back here with Nick and Rolf, and bring Rissa. All right, I think we're good to go. I'm, like, never worried about Shinnin getting hit. It takes a lot to hit him. He's so freaking... Like, look at his, um... For an archer, he's got 26 speed, which is the highest he can get right now. His skill is 29, which is insane. His defense is really high at 22, and he's got really good magic resistance. So, he's, like, crazy stacked when it comes to... Actually, um... You know taking care of these people. Get some bows here. 
And actually, interestingly enough, I think if I cross this threshold, it uh, would create a problem for me. Really? Hey, he leveled up. Good job, Har. He's great. He's such a good character. No! Don't do that. <laughs> Switch to a crossbow real quick. All right. Good. Attack twice, you idiot! Oh my gosh! Did it really take that that long to? Like, there we go. I was, I was sort of like deciding whether or not I wanted to go after those guys, and I figured I'd let them come to me, but then I just ran away anyway. I don't know. This should do a ton of damage. Yes. Okay. Bring her back. And yeah. Spirit of God horror. It's so bad at dodging. Like, really, really bad. I know you know this. I just have to remind you. You're terrible. Alright. That's the best we can do right now. I think I just have to defeat him. So really... Ooh, that's not good. I can't do this to Soren dies. <laughs> like, literally. It's not... I, I will restart this entire thing if he dies. Well, that was close. I think he'll be okay. I didn't realize he could hit him, though. That was crazy. Yeah, I just have to defeat this guy. Alright, I think we can do that. Yeah, I don't really care who you are. Oh yeah, super effective. And we just won. Great. Super happy. I was worried that I was gonna die. <laughs> Or at least people would die. <laughs> and he leveled up. Great stuff. Oh, that makes me happy. My name is Ike. I like to fight. I, I keep saying that it looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger, so. This is my very poor Arnold Schwarzenegger impersonation. Hold on. Oh. Uh. It's diabetes time. Oof. That, my friends, is what's called a moderately high sugar. Or blood glucose level. I ate too much. I had pizza tonight, so of course it's a little high. But hey, that's fine. Actually, this presents a perfect opportunity for me to take a bathroom break. And with, you know what that means. If, you, if you're a longtime viewer of the stream, of which there's only been, you know, eight so far, um, you'll know what this is, but I will be right back. Uh, and please enjoy this lovely montage that I put together for you. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I really do.
welcome back. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that montage of royalty-free... What does it say? Royalty-free post-apocalyptic post -apocalyptic imagery is set to piano music. I made it myself. It's my bathroom breaks uh, montage. Thank you guys for that. I, I, hope you, I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, back to Fire Emblem. Just beat that level. I think we'll do one more. We'll, we could do one more level. That'll be like a pretty solid stream. I would say, at least. Woof. Oh, man. Well, it's General Zogius. Who could he be? I think we're about to get a... Uh... A cinematic, I think? Pretty sure. Maybe. Lion versus uh, cheetah, I guess. Blue, blue cheetah. Ooh, he's Dexy. Ow! Ow! That really hurt. Yeah. You idiot. Well, Ranoff knew what would happen and sacrificed himself for, for the greater good. He's fine. He's not dead, but... But anyways, as you said in the story, um, up to this point at least, I can give you a pretty good synopsis, hopefully, if you if you haven't played this game before. If you have, then don't worry about it. And if you haven't, and you don't care, why are you watching the stream? It can't be me, I'm not that entertaining. Alright, let's listen to the narration. The Apostle Sonaki, Empress of the Benyan Empire, does not wish war with the Lagoons and searches feverishly for a peaceful resolution. However, many Imperial Senators see the war not only as a means to expand their own influence, but also as a convenient opportunity to exterminate the Lagoos once and for all. These ambitious Senators meet with Vice Minister Lacan and vigorously advocate a full-scale war. Having seen their homeland invaded, Benyan's citizens desiring peace are now few and far between. Against the Apostle's wishes, Benyan's military is now fully committed to the war with the Lagoons. Zelgius easily escapes the talons of the bird tribes meant to delay him and the Central Army. He arrives at the Sesto Plains to reinforce his weakened allies. The Lagoos forces are surprised by the sudden appearance of this new enemy and seek counsel from Ranulf of Gallia. Ranulf orders a retreat with all speed, thus avoiding a full-on engagement with the Central Army. General Zelgius chooses not to pursue the fleeing Gallian army. Instead, he orders his army to hold position on the eastern banks of the Riban. Divided by the river, the two armies are deadlocked able to do little more than glare at one another in hatred. I'm pretty sure I don't like this mission. <laughs> I could pretty much say that about any of the missions here. to barn.
Hey, it's Risa. Okay, and Janif. Forget what happens. I don't. Cross the river. Attack them head on. That took a really long time. I should have done this like way earlier, but I keep forgetting. <laughs> I 
upgrades. Alright, let's see who needs what. You, she really, really needs an axe. Urgh. I gotta sell some stuff. Dun, 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 dun. I give this to Oscar maybe we'll do Soren just because I'm a sucker for Soren great I really want that Draco shield. This is super important. It's gonna be three thousand dollars. It's not gonna happen. I'm pretty sure everyone's mostly okay. He needs uh, a great house. All right, let's see if we can do this. Big cinematic. The band's marching halfway across the river already. There's no point in waiting. Ah, oh, well, <laughs> enemy will spot him soon. Then it's time to fight. You should go. Don't remind me. I hate flying. Anyway, give the word, will you? No need. Our friends heard every word. Ugh, finally, it's time. I've had enough of sitting around. To wing, brothers! Keep up with me if you can! 
Also, not what I imagined Ranoff's voice would sound like. Like, at all. engaged until I return. Yes, sir. Sorry to drop in unannounced. We thought it best to hunt the strongest prey first. Of course. Interesting maneuver. Also not what you I would your imagine he sounds like. I trust you know who you face, Selgius, commander of this army. If you're not worthy of fighting me, then you are He sounds like 20 years older than he looks. I'm Ronald. Right hand to Gallia's future king. Will that do? We shall see. I will accept your challenge. And you're ready. Welcome back. Thank you for the follow, uh, Unhinged. I completely missed that. Normally I have a little alert that comes up, but I totally missed it. But thank you. I appreciate it. How was dinner? Did you have a good time? The bots are annoying. Honey garlic ribs sounds fantastic right about now. Really go for that. Sounds delightful. I'm actually not super into ribs, but man, right now this sounds amazing.
good. More people for me to murder. Oh yeah, the, the horses. I forgot. Ugh, it's, uh, those, I think that's what you were talking about. You're a bit of a cook when you're motivated? Me too, actually. I'm, I'm a bit more of a baker than a cook. Um, but I love, I love making stuff. It's good. Hmm. forgot I had uh, a bunch of support things. Hated mushroom pork chops until she tried mine. Now she requests it. Yeah, my, uh, my mom actually has a recipe for like a sort of like a creamy mushroom pork, I guess gravy. Um, it's really good. It's it's delightful. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like waiting for this guy to attack. I... Yeah, I I definitely bake more than I cook, but I I do really enjoy cooking sometimes. Um, <clears throat> and new recipes um, for like steak or I, I love burgers. Like trying to find the right combination of stuff to put on a burger. It's, super good and I've made like you know carbonara and um, some pasta dishes and you know tasty and super unhealthy stuff but uh, I, I do like it I, I do bake more I'm really I must say I have some pretty good brownies that I make um, I've done cakes and cupcakes and uh, macarons and just a bunch of a bunch of really delicious stuff it's just fun. It's kind of relaxing, too. It's like, I, I put dumb pictures on my Instagram, so if you really want to see some of my baking stuff, you can check that out. Oof. What I do, sear the chops in a cast iron pan. Always a good thing, I love cast iron. Uh, put my spices, mushrooms, onions, and garlic in the pan for a mushroom soup on the top and bake it for 25 to 35 minutes depending on the thickness. That sounds delightful. I may have to get that recipe from you. Um, I got a cast iron skillet, like a, a big, like 12 inch one, super heavy. Uh, and I, I love cooking with that thing. I do really good chicken pot pie in that, um, which is, is very tasty. It's like a double crust. You put like a crust on the bottom, put the uh, stuff that goes inside the chicken pot pie, and then put another crust on top. Put some egg wash over top of it. It's good stuff. that last shot count. I knew you would. Sounds delightful. Yeah. Thank you for quoting me. I always, I always appreciate it when people do that. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, got him with a counter.
yeah, I forget what's inside that. It's like shredded chicken. I just get a chicken breast from the store and um, sh cut that up and shred it. Um, it's got potatoes, mixed vegetables, normally like peas or corn or carrots, and uh, a bunch of other stuff. It's like you could, you dice up everything and, and throw it in. Uh, scallions or green onions or whatever. Um, and then it's got tarragon, black pepper, lemon pepper, salt, uh, cream, and like one other spice that is escaping me. Oh, um, I think it's chicken. No, it's chicken stock, and yeah, it's it's a bunch of stuff. It's really really good. Um, and yes, the counter coat was very rare, very rare indeed. Oof, heavy hitter right there. Mm, I don't want to move him up too much. I'll just bring him over here. Oh, gay tree. Yes. He is a gay tree. I was saying before, he's, ve he's very suave and very handsome. There's a ton of characters in this game that I would probably assume were gay. <laughs> Which, hey, fine with that. I guess we'll go this way. Heather, definitely. Meg? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Uh, there's always that, um... <clears throat> what was it? The... There's like, if you get the final, final conversation with Ike and Soren at the end of the game, it's like... I don't think it's like even alluded to, but it's like slightly implied that Soren and Ike, or it's something like. There's like a YouTube video on it. I don't know, because um, Ike is very like very um, clearly is not into uh, like Ami when she tries to come on to him and stuff. He's very, you know, just doesn't want to deal with that. I don't know. He has Soren deal with it, which I also think is funny. She actually hit something. Oh, I did not know that. That's cool. Once again, I I never use Meg. Blossom. What is this do? I forget what that does. I hate that it doesn't tell you what it does. You have to do that at a base. So stupid. Freaking horses, man. <laughs> Tick me off. Uh, let's go. Uh, you couldn't do that the first time, Mike. You had to do it the second time when it doesn't matter. Shameful. Absolutely shameful. Well, that's cool, though. I uh, I definitely love the representation stuff a lot more. Like it means a lot to me personally. Um, it's just cool to see, especially in a game that's like older. Like, I'm mean, not that this is like old, old, but it's um, old enough that like 
you wouldn't think that that sort of stuff would have been included in the story, but I guess they find a way to, to put it in there without triggering anyone or whatever, but it's really cool. Meg, you can tell is gay if you get an A support with any other female or just Heather, but then you have credentials that marry her. Oh, I never knew that. That's, a, that's like adorable. Now I want to like restart and actually use her. Oh, come on, Ike. Can I just hit a little bit harder? Tiny, tiny bit? I gotta have Soren come over here and finish him off. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure Meg died. I'm pretty sure she, she died in the, uh, um, the, the very first, um, uh, the very first mission with Alincia. Maybe, maybe she did. Maybe, there's a couple, there's a couple, uh, maps where people died and I just kept going. Because I was like, oh, I don't use this person. But I, I can't remember exactly. It was like a couple weeks ago. Wait, you gave her a Londite? That's crazy. Is that through the randomizer thing, or is that actually something you can do? Like, you just gave it to her to... It's vanilla? Okay. I, I, again, it's been years since I played this game, so I don't really remember how the end game like, functions. I remember what you do and the story, but I don't remember, like, the various ins and outs. Yeah, I... I remember that. And can just anyone wield it? Like, anyone can use it? Anyone with SS strength, so okay, cool. No, oh, I totally forgot to burn these. No, I got the other one. Oh, we're fine. Ragnall, yeah, I knew I knew Ragnall was only I could use, but I Completely forgot about Alande. Oh, uh, while you were gone <laughs> in the uh, last mission, um, unfortunately, Boyd died, and I had to restart, even though we were just talking about him not being effective. Which I thought was pretty funny. Mm, I guess I'll send Titania out there. PRF weapons to be unlocked. Oh, if you're if you're using the randomizer, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that makes sense. You can use anyone. Anyone can use any weapon. Again. It's pretty funny. Oh, the poor senators. Yeah, good luck with that. The horses. The hosses. using Ragnar's hilarious. <laughs> I 
That's actually pretty funny. I didn't even think about the animations not working. Come on. Yeah, I better not use that. Come on. One down. Because of Vanilla, there's no animation for him and not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which makes sense. It's just, it's kind of funny when you think about it. Also, the emulator actually updated today, and uh, I think it's running a little smoother. Because before, anytime there was a magic animation, it would like crunch, and would, the CPU usage would go through the roof, um, which is kind of funny. Because uh, I have a pretty decent setup, and this game is so old. You'd think it wouldn't be an issue, but it is. having issues with certain classes with animations too. They just T-pose. <laughs> Gotta love those those developer poses that get thrown in there sometimes. Again, he only hits him one time. Pisses me off. There you go. See, Boyd can be effective. You just have to always have his support unit around. I guess that makes sense. I don't know, in some weird way. and Shimon. <laughs> Ike, if you had Ragnell all the time, you could kill that person. No problem. But for some reason, you don't. It's like, no, I don't want to be too OP, so I'm not going to use this this thing. Benig? 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 You keep thinking that one name. Oh, Benyon. Benyon. It's, it's, yeah. He's a, this guy gave Ragnall back. Did he give it back? I thought he had it, like, with him. He was just, like, holding on to it. I don't know. Um... There we go. Pretty sure you gave it back after you kill Ashron. Yeah. I guess. I don't know. Just seems kind of dumb on his part. Um, and yeah, Connor, the uh, the name of the enemy units isn't their actual name. It's just the country that they fight for. They're part of the Benyan Empire, so that's why it says Benyan. Gives it to you again in this game. I guess 
you know, that makes sense from like a story point, uh, storytelling perspective, but man, if I had that sword, I would be like, no, I'm keeping it. It's never gonna dull, and it's, you know, allows me to magically attack people. So I'm just not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna hold on to it. Longbows like are so ineffective in this game. They really are. That horse is just hanging out there. Just chilling. Good luck with that. Not a smart move to attack the ranged, you know, archer. Or I guess archers are always ranged. A ranged character. Right, Horsey boys is uh, finally moved on. This will do. I guess it really doesn't matter. Oh yeah, <laughs> at the end of that game, like they didn't think that they were gonna make another one. <laughs> I guess they really didn't know if they were or not. Not that these sold super well, because they definitely didn't. Hey, good job, Shannon. Well, you got slightly more lucky. Oh yeah, I know they sell way better now, but these these two did not sell well at all. Like, if you look at the numbers, it's like terrible. Which is really sad, because it's such a good game. Take it! Ooh, Master Crown. Yeah, probably. I think it was also just a general lack of interest for the... I don't know. I, I think it was a weird time to release them, like the middle of the 2000s, because it was like, this is... I have to go back and look exactly when they released, but I'm pretty sure like Zelda had just come out, or a Zelda had come out. I'm not, I don't remember entirely. I just know that it didn't sell well, which just really made me sad, because I would love more games like this specifically, but I guess, you know, I'll have to play three houses and see how uh, it stacks up. You said it was pretty good though, so I'll check it out. Still trying to hit people that long though, huh? Yeah, man, it looks, I mean, it looks like you'd have a really good time with it. Hey, level 10. Got it for my birthday shortly after it came out, dropped 50 hours in it. That's gonna be me with Cyberpunk when it finally comes out. All right, I go protect your buddy slash boyfriend. Burn! Two hundred fifty hours in it, dude. That's impressive. That's really cool. and you can do better than that. I'm just 
just realized I have to <laughs> I have to have these supplies burning in uh, very short order. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> I forgot. I was so focused on just moving forward. It's not even your most played game? Well, sir, what is your most played game? I'm very interested. Is it a Fire Emblem game or is it... Like, what, what, are, what other games are you into? Talk to me. <laughs> That's not good. I'm not supposed to hurt them. Okay, good. That was close. Binding of Isaac. Also a good game, which I've, n I've never beaten. I've played it. I'm pretty sure I can send you over here to burn these. There we go. Okay. 3,000 hours. Because <laughs> it's new every time, right? It doesn't... Uh... That's crazy. I mean, awesome. Mad respect for that. But it changes, right? It's like never, it's um, like every every time it's like new, right? Yeah, you can speed run it and stuff. Makes sense. Oh. No, run off. Be good. To barn. That's such a lame cinematic to just cut. I don't know. It was like so epic, and then it was like, just kidding. Good job, boys. You did it. You goddamn did it. Tavarn, this is PG-13. Watch your language. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Thought I didn't save it for a second. It would have been bad. The Lagoos you still race it every once in a while? By the pretty cool. And by tactical genius, I'm guessing you're pretty good at it if you, if you spent that much time. Emboldened by their success, they move east with amazing speed and capture the northern stronghold, Castle Celiora. The Lagoos Alliance has made a vital step in its march toward the Benyon capital, Sien. Benyan has now lost a valuable defensive line in the Riban River, and the Central Army has been forced to retreat east, taking refuge in Castle Gados. The morale of the Benyan soldiers is kept high by their faith in General Zelgius, while the Benyan nobles smolder with resentment at their defeat. 10,000 hours, dude? Mad respect. That's awesome. In like uh, like high school or college or something like that. Like how 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 much time did you have? High school. I figured it was high school. I was like, you have a lot more time, free time in high school than you do in college. That's awesome. Man. Yeah, I was big into. Um, it wasn't even a game, but it was. <laughs> This is embarrassing. This is going back a while. Um, Gaia Online. You know, my friend got me onto it, and it was like... They released some weird sort of... Game version of it, it like, after five, six years of it being online, and it was... It was very weird, but I like the Avatar and customizable stuff, but... When people were playing WoW, you were playing Conquer? Yeah. I never got into WoW. Just never... Never, never really got into it. 
I also didn't have good internet growing up. You know Gaia too? Yeah. Yeah, I had I had a pretty cool avatar. I should try logging into that. That would be interesting. I'm guessing it's still around. I'm sure it's way different now, but... That was like my Neopets. I also had Neopets, but that was like... The, the website that I spent the most time on when I was younger. It was like middle school, high school. Back when I was really into like anime and... Which, you know, I still am. I just don't watch it as much. Dang. That stinks. Come on, Renolf. So, <laughs> Soren's like a genius. <laughs> Just like, give me literally two seconds to think of a plan. Okay, I thought of a brilliant plan. Aw, that's cute. Did you like help her make the make the account and everything? That's adorable. Connor, you're missing out. There is a Neopets resurgence, and the only thing it's missing is you. Is there not a Neopets app? I assume there, there's like an app for everything. I assume there was. I did, I did, but it's so different now on the site. It's not too buggy, like it has to maintain. it. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Hey now, the original Neopets was Tamagotchi. All right. How many of those did we abandon? Thousands. Tens of th hundreds of thousands, probably. Tens of millions. Yeah. You know there's someone out there who's still got, like, an original Tamagotchi that they're still caring for. Like, not any of the new ones. Like... An original original. It's like those people that still rock the original iPod, which, respect. That's awesome. Totally unnecessary, but cool. Skrillians of Tamagotchis. What does this do? Increases parameters. Parameter gains when leveling up, but reduces experience points gains by half. See, that's such an interesting one. I feel like Boyd would be good for that, because that would make him much more of an all-rounder. But he doesn't get that much experience anyway. Yeah, whatever. We'll try it out. It was about two months ago. You did have your original Tamagotchi? You were one of the fabled legendary people? That's amazing. What was its name? Did we give them names? I can't remember. Or did they come pre-named? A uh, blue gem. I could sell that. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. The silencer. I'll give it to Shinna. Not that he needs it. It's a complete waste of eight thousand dollars, but okay. That's cool. 
that's the rule of cool. Everyone else is fine. We got time. We got more than that. Yeah, so I don't... Um, I'm sure it is. Hmm. Maybe I should get another one. I don't know. I don't really plan on using her for, like, attack attacks. Because she's just so weak. But maybe. I don't know. It's good. It, you're right. It is good to have that option. But she's already got one. I haven't used it at all, so... I'm fine with it. Whew. I tend to use her as a mage killer. That's actually a pretty good idea. Ooh, I forgot about Kaiza. Interesting wardrobe choice. Also, I wonder what happens to their clothes when they transform. They just, like, magically dissolve into green whatever. He's like a lieutenant in the army, I think, right? Can't you use him at some point? Maybe not. I th yeah, he's like... I don't think you can use him. He's like a... Maybe you can. I don't remember. He looked familiar to me. probably should end it here because I've been playing for two and a half hours and I want to watch some Mad Men before I go to bed. Oh, it's an animation in Path of Radiance that shows it does magically disappear and reappear when they shift. Interesting. I never knew that. It's pretty cool. All right, gents. Thank you guys for watching so much. Um, let me turn down this music a little bit. There we go. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Awesome. Well, hey, thank you guys for watching. Uh, it's been a really good stream. This is a good two and a half hours. Especially as, you know, with the last two weeks, I didn't really get anything done. So, and I kept dying, and it just wasn't a good time. So tonight was way, way better. Um, thank you guys so much for, like, talking and engaging it always makes it way more fun when there's you know people who are actually somewhat interested in watching me do this um yeah i really appreciate it and um again unhinged thanks so much for uh giving us a follow always appreciate it connor why aren't you following us you need to follow us right now or maybe you are and i just missed it but you should definitely give us a follow uh and if you don't know I am a part of Subpixel, which is the channel that this is being hosted on. We do all things video games. We make documentaries. We just have one we just did on Iceland, uh, a game jam in the middle of nowhere that was called the Isolation Game Jam in Iceland. It's pretty cool. If you want to check it out and check out all our other content, you can find it at Subpixel on YouTube, or you can go to subpixelfilms.com. It'll take you right there. Uh, also, bottom right-hand corner of the screen, if you want to, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at Subpixel Team. And uh, we got a lot of cool content coming up. We've got um, tomorrow. I think we're doing. What are we? What are we doing tomorrow? It's another stream with uh, Watch Dogs Legion. So that's pretty cool if you're into that. And then uh, we've got a bunch of other streams coming up. We're doing a charity stream for Extra Life next week, which will be awesome. I'm gonna do the full 24 hours, which will be murder for all of us who are doing it, but it'll be fun. And then, uh, yeah, I do this every Wednesday at 9 p.m. So it's only once a week, but it's it's a good time. So, um, you know, unhinged, if you're around next week, I'd love to talk more about cooking and Tamagotchis and Fire Emblem and anything else you want to. But yeah, thanks so much for joining, guys. And uh, I will see you next week on... Uh, I forget what day it is. I know it's Wednesday. I don't know the number of the day, but I'll see you then. And until then, I hope you guys have a good night. See ya.